Hi guys, we're back to finish Erie Elementary. The school is alive. We're gonna do chapters 13, 14, and 15. 13 is called Worm Mouth. You can see the picture there. Swish, the big red curtain swooshed shut. The audience gasped, they could no longer see the stage. A closet door banged open behind Sam, then the floorboards lifted up to form a slide. Miss Grinker and the other students tumbled backward into the closet. From off stage, Mr. Nakobe yelled, Sam, it's happening. He ran toward Sam, but the curtain ropes grabbed hold of him. The ropes flung Mr. Nakobe inside the closet too, and the door snapped shut. Next, the lights went out. Only one spotlight stayed on. It was pointed at Sam, Lucy, and Antonio. The audience can't see the stage and the teachers and students are trapped in the closet. Hi, Luna. <laughs> Hi, sweet girl. Hello. The audience can't see the stage and the teachers and students are trapped in the closet, Sam thought. I'm the only one who can save everyone. The chair mouth began to climb up out of its hole in the floor like a worm coming up out of the ground. Let's see all that. It's a lot happening there. Lucy and Antonio began kicking and screaming. What is that? Lucy yelled. Antonio thrashed on his wire, trying to get away from the huge teeth. As he swung his lucky peanut butter and jelly sandwich slipped from his pocket, it fell down into the giant mouth. The sandwich splattered against the chair mm -hmm. teeth. Mm -hmm. Knew that sandwich was going to come in handy. Sam got an idea. I'll be back, he shouted to his friends. Don't leave us, Sam, Lucy cried. She was fiddling with her wire, trying to untie herself. Just trust trust me, Sam said, and he leapt over the giant mouth. You see him leaping there? Everyone in the audience gasped as Sam jumped out from behind the closed curtain. He sprinted out of the dark auditorium and into the hallway. When Sam reached the end of the hall, he pushed open the lunchroom door. It was quiet and dark, but as soon as Sam stepped inside, the lunchroom came alive. The chairs shook, the long tables buckled up and down, and the ceiling lamp swung. A deep moaning sound came from a speaker on the wall. Eerie Elementary was howling. Sam needed to get into the kitchen, but every step he took seemed to make the school angrier. Packages of cookies exploded, tables flipped over, light bulbs above his head shattered. Suddenly, the vending machine began firing bottles of water at him. One blasted Sam in the chest, knocking him onto his back. Look at the water hitting him. Hmm. I'll never make it all the way to the kitchen, he thought, unless... Sam thought back to his training. He remembered Antonio telling him to use what was around him. Sam leapt to his feet, grabbed an orange lunch tray, and held it over his chest. He hopped up on a table and sprinted down the length of it. And as he charged toward the kitchen, at the, vent, the kitchen, the vending machine fired more water bottles at him. The bottles bounced off his shield. Sam jumped up off the end of the table, hit the ground, and rolled into the kitchen. And then he saw it. The one thing that could save his friends. So there's his battle with the water. What do you think he sees? It's the one thing that can save his friends. It's in the kitchen. Chapter 14, it's called Eat This. You see what it is? <laughs> Sam stared up at a giant drum of peanut butter. It was stacked high atop a table full of food supplies. He shook the table, then jumped back. Jars of secret sauce and cans of soup crashed to the ground, along with the peanut butter drum. Sam rolled the drum out through the lunchroom door. He gave it a heavy push. It barreled down the hall, clearing a path. Pow! The drum knocked a monstrous chair out of the way. Boom! The drum sent a spinning trash can flying. Clam, clam, clam! The drum blasted through a set of locker doors. The peanut butter drum crashed everything in it, crushed everything in its way. At last, Sam made it backstage with the drum. Lucy ran toward him. Lucy, Sam yelled. How'd you get down? I was able to untie myself, but I couldn't reach Antonio. He's still stuck and... Uh oh let's see what happened to Antonio. And Sam pushed the drum toward the stage and looked up. The giant mouth had grown larger. It was now made of hundreds of folding chairs that together formed a hundred teeth. Two of the teeth had hold of Antonio's green pants. Any second now, he would be eaten alive. Help! There's the chairs eating his pants. <laughs> 
Help, yelled Antonio. Sam, what can we do? asked Lucy. Follow my lead, Sam said. The mouth was about to chomp into Antonio, and just then Sam shouted, Hey, Erie Elementary, are you hungry? The monstrous chair mouth turned away from Antonio. It faced Sam and Lucy and let out a growl. Sam and Lucy didn't flinch. They stood perfectly still, and the mouth opened wider. Holy cow. Lucy grabbed hold of Sam's arm. Sam held his breath. As the giant mouth charged toward them, the stage floorboards were breaking apart. Sam stared into the center of the chomping, thrashing mouth. It was upon them. No, Sam screamed. Together, Sam and Lucy kicked the heavy peanut butter drum as hard as they could. And you see it's kicked right into the mouth. If you see all these are the teeth. The chair legs are the teeth and they kicked the peanut butter right in. You think you'll be satisfied? It bowled across the stage, right into the giant mouth, and the teeth chomped down on the drum, and kaboom! And there they are, and everything is exploding. The drum burst open, and gallons of peanut butter flew everywhere. The peanut butter was gumming up the monster's mouth, and the chewing slowed, and then stopped. Lucy and Sam bumped fists. You did it, Antonio shouted from up high. I couldn't have done it without you two, said Sam, smiling. The sticky mouth slipped back down through the trap door. The trap door closed. The floor returned to normal. It was over. Erie Elementary was silent. Then, all of a sudden, the stage curtains swooshed open. Chapter 15, our last chapter, is called Sam Graves' Hall Monitor. The lights came on, the closet door opened. Miss Grinker, Mr. Nakobe, and the students stumbled out. For a moment, everyone was quiet. The audience looked around, confused. Miss Grinker walked out on stage. Um, well, let's see. Uh, let's have a hand for the kids. That play was amazing, she said. So she played it off like it was all just part of the play. Mm -hmm. It's a weird version of Peter Pan, huh? Sam's mom started clapping. Wonderful job, Sam, she yelled. Soon everyone was clapping. No one had any idea what had just happened. Lucy helped Antonio down from his wire, and then she whispered to Sam, Um, now what? Sam smiled. Now we take our bow. Backstage, the students were changing out of their costumes. Mr. Nakobe took Sam aside. You did well tonight, Sam Graves, he said. Everyone here is in good hands. And then he walked away. Sam ran over to his friends and he burst out. I told you guys the school was alive. Now do you believe me? Antonio and Lucy were talking so fast that Sam could hardly understand them. He laughed and said, guys, relax. I'll tell you everything. And he did. As they were waiting out front for their parents, Sam told his friends everything there was to tell about Erie Elementary. The school cast long shadows lit by the moon. Two large windows were open and inside two light lights burned like eyes watching the three best friends you see it so there's the three best friends and it looks like two eyes and a mouth and the lights in there and there's the gate that says eerie elementary sam reached into his backpack he felt the hall monitor sash that just a few days earlier he had been embarrassed to wear now he had a sudden urge to put it on he knew it wouldn't take it wouldn't be long before eerie elementary would strike again. All right, so all the the books in the series are about the school doing these super weird things. So let me know if you guys like this one. Um, you can either comment below or you can have your parents send me an email. Um, and if you like this one there, I have, these are my sons from his bookshelf and he has the first five in the series. So I could read you some more of these before the end of the school year, okay? Miss you guys so much and can't wait to see you next year in the library. Bye-bye.